fanfare, a small town Georgia coach makes history, achieving a seat at the table that very few ever see. Especially black women. Her unlikely rise to the top started with the purchase of a book called Volleyball for <laughs> Dummies. I got to meet this coach behind this historic moment, and she set a state record. For Sandy Creek students and their supportive fan base on both the volleyball court and online, very few would have any clue about the trailblazing coach who just made Georgia history. I can remember my mom calling me. She's crying. She's like, "Oh my baby, like you'll forever be known in Georgia." Sandy Creeks to Shay Lewis is the second ever black female to lead a high school volleyball team to a state championship in Georgia. I may have been a little numb at the time um, because it is an accomplishment. A lot of people didn't want us to win just because they knew we were going to make history. But her path to victory is darn near legendary. I told him I didn't know anything about volleyball. The former pro basketball player came to Sandy Creek to coach basketball. But the position required she also inherit a sport she had never, ever played. I bought a book. It was Volleyball for Dummies. With no contacts, no institutional knowledge, and no real credentials, supporting the beginning was almost nil. Yet the wins continued to rack up. And I'm glad we got her. Year one, Coach Lewis took Sandy Creek's varsity volleyball team to the state championship, finishing runner-up. Year two, they lost in the final four. Year three, they won the whole kit and caboodle, and Lewis won coach of the year. Accolades that would jettison any coach to a higher level. Yet Lewis fielded not one single offer. I don't know if African Americans are really accepted yet totally in volleyball. Diversity in volleyball has a long way to go. Data released by the NCAA from 2011 through 2020 White males and females make up 81.7% of collegiate volleyball head coaches and 78.7% assistants. But black men and women only made up 7.2% of head coaches and 6.8% of assistants. The numbers are even fewer at the high school level. I mean, there was a lot of adversity that I, I even saw, you know, coaching here in high school. Now Sandy Creek is hoping to capitalize on Lewis's black girl magic, convincing her to coach volleyball for one more year before returning to basketball full time. And the big question everyone is asking, will Sandy Creek go back to back with another championship while well, the season starts this fall? I just love how laid back she is about all of this. Of course, <laughs> I did this and had the success, right? Well, and one thing you were saying is out of the 500 high school volleyball programs, just three African-American female coaches have won Coach of the Year, including her. Quite it's impressive. pretty impressive. Yeah.